Covering the shoreline now, volunteers across the world will be coming together this weekend to clean up coastal communities and people here in Connecticut taking part in that effort. News 8's Brian Spiros with our report. Walk along the Connecticut shoreline and you'll notice some pretty spectacular views, but you may also notice this trash cans, wrappers, cigarettes, and just about everything and anything. The goal in the coming days and weeks, clean it all up. We're joining the largest uh, volunteer event in the world. Chris Kreider is the special projects coordinator for Save the Sound. That large event he's talking about is tomorrow, International Coastal Cleanup Day. We have been doing coastal cleanups in Connecticut here along Long Island Sound and the rivers leading to it for about 15 years. Starting this weekend and through October, some 72 cleanups are scheduled from Greenwich to New London. Volunteers will come together to clean up the trash people often leave behind. And just to give you an idea, of how beneficial this is. Last year, 58 locations along the shoreline were cleaned up with the help of some 1,500 volunteers. And when all was said and done, they ended up collecting nearly 7,000 pounds of trash. Not only is it an eyesore, it can be dangerous for all types of animals. Multiple community groups in the state will lend a helping hand to make sure everything is picked up. What we're finding is the people really connect with nature, connect with Long Island Sound, and they're more apt to then get involved with other events, habitat restoration volunteers, plantings that we do. And so it's a first step into really then helping the environment. Aside from Connecticut, 37 other states will take part in a cleanup of their own, along with 93 other countries. Reporting from New Haven, Brian Spiros, News 8. And for more information about where those cleanups will be taking place and how you can get involved, check out our website at WTNH.com.